guys, Ash Lane here. Today we're going to show the winners of the Town Hall 10 bases in the base building contest uh, hosted by Apex from Lost Phoenix. Now the issue with many of the bases that we received at Town Hall 10 are like this. We received a lot of bases that were really vulnerable to Zap Quakes. So that's where you use a lightning spell to take out the Inferno Tower as well as the Clan Castle and even like in this case you can take out the Queen as well. Now these these type of bases might actually hold up well in a lot of uh, clan wars, but if you're going against, you know, one of these elite clans, uh, wink wink, that, that pulls off a ton of three stars, or even a clan that's really savvy to the uh, Zapquake attack, they are really apt to pull off, uh, to take out that clan castle as well as the Inferno Tower, so therefore I really can't recommend these base designs, so that's why we're just going to make it a top three today, because really I can't show any of these bases that are very vulnerable vulnerable to the uh, to the zap quake although some of them are nice designs otherwise so i want to start by showing you guys a bonus a 9.5 base this is uh, a 9.5 very nice base design uh the giant bombs really uh really crowded in the center of the base there you could change those up or you could keep them up there they're really hard to trigger uh when going for the queen it's it's nearly impossible to get those giant bombs unless you're really going with like a max attack type of uh, for formation on your attack strategy now this next base is actually a farming base but I wanted to show it just to give some love to the anti two star bases because the, the top two are going to be uh, strictly anti three star at Town Hall 10 so if you're in wars that you don't need an anti three star base try a base like this where only about 33% of the units are up north so an, uh, an attacker who's not very savvy might just go after that town hall and they're never going to get the two star if they go in heavy from the north so it takes and, and if an attacker goes heavy from the south uh, they might not be able to get all the way to the town hall so it's a nice base to use if you're just going for the uh, for the one star defense now up to the two top bases here so uh, base by smoking guns of clan uh, FTC very nice base design here it was a close call uh, the votes were tight between two and one but this is a pretty solid base here the uh, the fundamentals are in place that you can't access the queen and an inferno tower very easily those are the one of the big things you look out for here this is the winning base by the way by uh, warring nomad uh, very nice anti-3 design here it's uh, once again you can feel free to change the uh, giant bomb locations they are pretty close to the perimeter there you can move them to the south of the clan castle if you chose to do so but obviously that is up to you the individual uh, the individual player and you can obviously go ahead and make any adjustments you want on any of these bases so they're not quote unquote an internet base but it is a nice design uh, the queen has a ton of hit point buffer in terms of storages throughout the base it's very difficult to take out the queen in an inferno tower the clan castle is unlurable all the keys that we look for in a good anti three star design so if you're looking for a good anti three star base go ahead and try one of the top two bases there and uh, I just want to say thanks again for all the submissions you guys we had a ton of great submissions and and a really positive responses so far for this contest and be sure to go ahead and watch the top five farming bases for town hall 10 after you're done with this video take care guys hey guys thanks for watching my video just a few ways you can help the channel out number one like number two subscribe and number three comment Tell me what you think of the video. I really appreciate it, guys, and it really helps me out a lot. Also, you can find me on social media. I'm active every day on Twitter at Clash underscore with underscore Ash and on Bindle chat group hashtag Clash with Ash. And as always, you can find me on my website at www.clashwithash.com. Thanks, guys.